Whether you're hosting a dinner party with friends, a Galentine's get-together, or even a date night with your special someone, Whole Foods Market has everything you need to beat the crowds in cold weather for a delicious dinner at home. Sometimes Adam and I like to have a little adult dinner together, a dinner date at home, Gretchen. Mm. You know I don't cook, Mm -hmm. but what I love is that Whole Foods has great prepared food, So we can go together, we can pick out some nice prepared food, we can get some wine, maybe pick up flowers, and then eat a nice meal together, and it feels like an actual date. Yeah, and you can shop with confidence because all the foods they sell must meet rigorous quality standards that ban more than 295 ingredients. You can find animal welfare certified steaks and chops. You can go to seafood and get shrimp or lobster tails if you want a little surf and turf dinner. They have everything that you might want for your date night. Think Whole Foods Market for your next date night. I'm Gretchen Rubin, and this is A Little Happier. In my book, The Happiness Project, I made a list of my 12 personal commandments, the overarching precepts that I use to guide my thoughts and actions. My eighth personal commandment is to identify the problem. That is, when I'm annoyed, angered, or frustrated, I pause to ask myself, what exactly is the problem here? Identify the problem seems like such an obvious thing to do. Yet grasping this idea was a real happiness project breakthrough for me. When I pinpoint the actual source of a problem, it's much easier to see how to solve it. Even if that solution isn't simple, it's clearer. But it's harder to do this than it sounds. In my experience, people often skip this essential step. People including me. We realize something is wrong or that we're unhappy but we have only a vague sense of what the actual problem is. And because we don't pinpoint the specific problem, the specific source of our bad feeling, we're often not very effective when we try to address that problem. Now you might think, this doesn't make any sense. If I have a problem, how is it possible that I haven't identified it? The fact is, I found that it's surprisingly easy to misdiagnose a problem. I assume that I'm feeling lousy about a situation for one reason, when in fact my bad feelings arise from a completely different source. Or I assume that one kind of solution will work when that solution only applies to a completely different kind of problem. Here's an example. Throughout my childhood, I thought I hated to exercise. I dreaded gym class. In high school, I played in team sports because I liked being on a team but I hated the actual sports part of it. I thought of myself as a true couch potato, someone who never wanted to exercise. But at a certain point, I finally realized, I don't like games. I don't enjoy any games. The only game that I enjoy playing is the card game Uno. That is the only game. And I'm terrible at sports. I have no eye-hand coordination, and I am not fast. And when I realized that, I also realized that while I don't like playing games or sports, I don't mind exercising. And once I realized that, over the years, I've consistently exercised by walking, running, doing the Stairmaster, doing high-intensity weight training, doing therapeutic yoga. No games, no competition, no coordination, just exercise. When I identified the actual problem, I was able to find ways to exercise without the sports or the games. These days, I try to discipline myself to ask, what's actually bugging me? What's the real problem here? When I take the time to pinpoint the actual source of my problem, I'm much better at spotting solutions. And while those solutions aren't always easy, they're much more effective. If you want to read more about why it's useful to identify the problem, I will post a link to an article I wrote, and I'll also post a link to an article I wrote about why identifying the problem is such an important step if you're feeling burned out at work. That is a very common problem. I'm Gretchen Rubin, and I hope this makes your week a little happier.